Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video. It's your brother, your boy, Cost Reps Corner. Like I always tell you guys, it's my corner, it's your corner, and it's a corner. I don't wanna fall in love. I just wanna have some fun, yeah. I don't wanna fall in love. If Raymond Dekosi, the chairman of and founder of Dar Communications and Ray Power, who passed on a few days ago in Abuja. Chief Raymond Dekosi was a rare personality whose generosity of spirit, industry, philanthropy, and contribution to human and media development in Nigeria has left an indelible legacy. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. So can we just observe a minute silence in his Thank you very much. And Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, His Excellency Aswaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GSCFR, were among other pronouncements on the vision and policy direction of the new administration clearly stated that subsidy for petrol is gone. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation on May 31st, 2023 adjusted the petrol price template ranging from 488 Naira to 537 in Abuja and other parts of the country. You will also recall that NMPC is the sole supplier of petrol in Nigeria and by implication, other marketers of the product naturally took a cue and adjusted their pump price to reflect the NMPC template. It is also not surprising that Nigerians following the adjustment continue to react to development with different opinions for and against the subsidy removal. A good number of Nigerians have argued that whereas the subsidy removal is necessary for the nation's economic, economic growth, the timing and manner of the adjustment is at variance with the expectations of the Nigerian masses. In view of the current living conditions of the people vis-a-vis -vis the already tense socio-political environment. For us at the Inter-Party Advisory Council IPAC, the issue of subsidy removal, though at the heart of the economic development of Nigeria and a necessary evil, and of course Mr. President must have been overwhelmed by the urgency of the need to address the dire economic situation of the, of the country to have expressed his desire in the manner he did. However, in our candid opinion, it would rather have been done at a more suitable time in view of the fact of the PIA 2022, that's the Petroleum Industry Act, and Appropriation Act 2023, the extent, which are the extant laws, as well as Mr. President's pronouncement <laughs> In his Nagra speech, that he was going, he's going to is going to govern by the rule of law. This is to say that the petroleum subsidy had long gone before the Nagra speech, uh, meaning that the extant laws had already removed the subsidy uh, from the uh, petroleum industry. There's no doubt that economics, economics, economists believe in a market economy in which production and prices are determined by unrestricted competition between privately owned businesses. However, this scenario exposed the local economy to dictates of global oil price shocks. Hence, subsidy re regime over the years became a strategy to cushion the effect on the citizens. What we are saying, in essence, is that the domestic price of petrol is affected by the international price of crude oil. As it moves up and down, we expect that the prices of crude oil, of, of uh, petrol in Nigeria will also uh, follow the same direction. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, highlights for the 2022 
multidimensional poverty index survey revealed that 63% of persons living within Nigeria, almost 103 million people, are multidimensionally poor. The MPI is 0.25%, indicating that poor people in Nigeria experience just over one quarter of all possible de deprivations. As of today, many states are struggling to pay the 30,000 minimum wage of workers. According to a recent KPG, KPMG report, Nigeria's unemployment rate is expected to rise to 41% in 2023. The report also revealed in part that there are expectations for GDP to continue to grow at a relatively slow pace of 3% in 2023, owing to the slowdown in economic activity that typically characterized periods of political transition in Nigeria. In this scenario, the move of subsidy in a product as central as petrol will no doubt increase the cost of goods and services and further worsen the living conditions of Nigerians. As a partner in progress, IPAC, in its last General Assembly of May 17, 2023, approved the constitution of a technical committee to set an agenda for the new administration in order to help it manage the inherited huge debt profile. Dwindling economy and growing unemployment and, and uh, divisiveness. At the end of the exercise, IPAC will make public its robust agenda for the new administration. However, on the issue of subsidy, IPAC advises the new administration to quickly engage with stakeholders on the appropriateness of justicing the subsidy regime, in addition to putting in place targeted palliative measures to cushion the effect of the eventual uh, removal of subsidy. Most importantly, the new government must, as a matter of urgency, set up a forensic inquiry on the subsidy regime to unravel the secrecy and obvious large-scale corruption in the sector. The NMPC, CBN, marketers and the players in the value chain of the subsidy era should be properly audited. Government should also address the issue of oil theft, metering of the sector infrastructure, while pursuing fiscal policy measures to progressively manage the economic interventions. Going forward, the NMPC and all relevant agencies should be made to operate transparently and, ac and accountable in its dealings. In addition, the federal government, as a matter of priority, should strengthen the law enforcement agencies, particularly the anti graft agencies, to effectively enforce their mandates. This intervention will reinforce the confidence of Nigerians and that subsidy removal will not be more fuel for corruption. Thank you for listening to us.